Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at the new Kali Linux Dojo, the regarded most secure and advanced penetration testing platform and operating system. So this is Kali Linux, um, has a nice looking logo and background. So this is based off of Debian and uses the GNOME desktop environment. So we'll take a look at the interface and the overall feel of what the apps can offer us and what power we have with this tool. So I'm running this in VirtualBox and it runs really good. So on the top with our bar up here, our top bar, we can look at the applications menu. So this is a really nice looking applications menu. As you can see, the whole OS is, has kind of a dark uh, base theme. So each of the different uh, exploitation, information gathering, or um, attacks you want to do is uh, in these 14 different groups. So if you want something to do information gathering on a computer or a network, um, you can go in this tab, uh, vulnerability analysis, uh, if you want to do specific password attacks, sniffing and spoofing with uh, Wireshark and um, all kinds of different tools. So all the most popular hacking and penetration testing tools are all included in this Linux distribution so you're not worrying about installing other things if you're te pen testing your network. Um, DDoSing a website or whatever you're doing. So on the left we have our applications bar. So we have our favorite applications over here. Um, as you can see, Kali Linux uses IceWeasel as as its um, default uh, default browser, and it's pretty much kind of like an alternate Firefox, if you will. Looks a lot like it with its manager and things. So we'll take a look at the um, the packages. I will continue anyway. So this is really nice. Um, you can it's kind of like the Linux Mint package manager. Um, you can click it on the different um, sections and groups to install different packages. So that's really cool. Used to uh, with older Backtrack 5 and older Kali Linux distributions you'd have to install everything for in the ter terminal. So it's cool that they've now added the package manager and uh, update manager for the people who don't like doing that over a terminal. <coughs> so if we click this applications show applications button, we can see all the different software. And again, it is organized in its uh, different groups. So here's the information gather gathering, vulnerability analysis, web application exploits, uh, database exploitation, password cracking, wireless attacks, and so on. So if you want to get something, a software out of the information gathering section, you just click on it. Um, it pulls up the different apps. Um, you can always go back to. So this menu is really cool. Um, really cool that with the new GUI uh, Dojo has. So we'll take a look at some of the apps pre-installed. Um, so take a look at the social engineering toolkit, which is really cool that's already pre-installed on Linux, this Kali Linux. So this is a cool tool they have installed and have actually used it for quite a few things. So you can uh, select from the menu different things. So we're going to do a social engineering um, attack. And let's see, we'll do a spear phishing attack. So um, you can create a file format, file format payload where you have a different uh, exploitation device and target so we'll choose that and as you can see these are a bunch of different payloads that you can choose from so you're not having the so this is kind of the interface for Metasploit um, and the MSF console um, so you can pick the different payloads right here um, select it and it'll build the .exe and the payload for you you just put in the IP address of your target computer and then uh, your computer that you want this payload to send the information back and then what kind of way to access the computer through a meter preter console or the shell or whatever you want so we'll try out number one the D DLL hacking hijacking attack vendor and of course from here you would put the IP address of the payload or what the um, IP address of the computer is going to be on and then from here you'd see you'd uh, which you'd pick which kind of way uh, payload you want to generate so I usually do the meter pre or the, I usually do um, the let's see I usually do the meter preter uh, version so instead of the shell then you 
pick which port and then uh, which deliver which shellcode injection. So I usually choose the Windows meter preter reverse TCP, um, and that's the default. And then you can also choose different file extensions that you want to attack. So if you want to attack PowerPoint 2010, you can add that to it. You can, if you want to attack Microsoft Office um, PowerPoint 2007, you can t take that or the Word with the object confusion. Um, so there's a bunch of different things. And then you set the file name to the attack what kind of um, zip file you want to do or RAR file and then you can um, you edit it and send it to your target computer so that's a social engineering toolkit that's really cool we'll take a look at um, the SF console or Metasploit this is another tool used for uh, attacking and penetration testing um, it has a number of payloads uh, pre-installed and I've actually used this for quite a few uses um, it can do everything from basic stealing files to all the way to looking through a camera which is kinda weird or uh, shutting down the computer getting the geolocation coordinates um, reading text messages on a Android device so the Metasploit framework is actually very powerful you can do quite a few things with it um, you can send texts to people over a few exploited a Android um, app so that's really cool so we'll wait for that to start up we'll take a look at the other uh, features so also included is the places manager which your different files nothing really big it's also included in many other Linux distributions so Metasploit booted up so as we can see we get a cool little uh, guy right there cool little cow um, so we can see there's 1,518 exploits. So that's pretty cool. Um, and 437 payloads. A lot of these have been patched by antiviruses like McAfee, Trend Micro, Malwarebytes. But if you can package this the right way, and uh, there's ways to actually go behind the scenes for the, with the Trojan and get behind uh, the antivirus. So yeah, this is uh, Metasploit, really cool tool. That's pre installed in Kali Linux. It's developed by Rapid7. Um, it's really cool. They develop all other apps too like Nexpose and uh, so they also have a free course on Metasploit if you want to check that out on their website. So now we can see there's the start there's a recording thing so if you want to record your desktop you're not having to worry about installing a free screen recorder or OBS um, this has an automatic pre-installed recording software for if you don't want any audio if you don't want any delay or if you want to record all your desktop there's a bunch of options so that's cool that they have that pre-installed it's easy screencast so you're not having to work, worry about um, installing other things I would still recommend installing open broadcasting so and then we have our basic our network manager and then our administrative functions of logout so and another thing about Linux, Kali Linux is you start off with root so that could become a big problem if you're uh, doing a lot of things on the file system it's better have a user account and then just root into things with the sudo command because if you're just running as root all the time bad things can happen uh, since you're there's no way of warning you since you have full privileges with root privileges so that's this is pretty much the all Kali Linux um, OS um, there's a, another one alternative called Backbox and we'll be doing a video on that later on so this is Kali Linux let me just go back over it so we have the the applications menu we have our uh, other applications menu with our groups and then we have uh, our bar on the side and then so all these and we have all these penetration testing tools all all pre-installed so thank you for watching give a like and subscribe and if you want us to do any certain length videos to review just let us know by commenting on videos or emailing us on our channel so give it a like and subscribe if you did like it if you didn't just give it a dislike see you next